All right, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to now, we've got Krita opened up, and we're going to start a new file to set up our workspace and our canvas dimensions. So we're going to click here to new file. And then I'm going to go here to the width and height. I'm going to change from pixels to inches. Now you don't have to, to change it. Sometimes when I'm working or I'm creating a digital painting and I intend to print it out, then that's why I kind of go with the, the inches format here as far as the units are concerned. Resolution, same thing. If you're going to be printing something, 300 PPI, which is pixels per inch, is more than enough for you to be able to print it on a full scale. Now, uh, if you're just going to be practicing digital painting and you don't really want to print anything, then you can even go down to 150 or 200. Uh, even that'll work. So with that, we're just going to create. That's going to get us to our canvas right now. As far as the, the layouts are concerned, we've got um, layers here. We've got brush presets. We got layers and then we got channels. You got your blue, green, red and alpha channels. You don't really have to worry too much about this. We're only going to be worrying about brush presets and layers. Okay. Now, Layers are really a good thing because as you start to paint, sometimes you just, you may not want to put everything in one layer because as you start to get really engrossed into the painting, there might be another layer that you may want to add something because if you make a mistake, you don't kind of mess up your entire painting. You get to just go to that single layer and then you can go ahead and erase that layer, okay? Down here on the corner is a plus sign. If I click on the arrow, you can add in a, a paint layer, clone layer, vector layer, filter layer, all this other nice stuff here, but you're not really going to need to uh, get into too much of that. Here I'm just going to keep this as the paint layer. When you add a plus, it'll just add a layer on top. So you can just keep adding layers and I'll just create another layer. Now if you want to delete it, you go to this trash can and you can delete that layer. So we're just going to start off here with a single layer and our background layer. Now on the left side we have a bunch of tools here. We've got your arrow. This is really a selection key. You can go in and select elements in your layer. Then you've got a text key if you want to put in and type in text. And then you've got a pen tool. You've got a brush tool. You've got lines. You've got uh, squares. You can put these geometric shapes if you want. The only thing we're really going to be messing with in this uh, particular course is just, just the paint tool. The idea here is just to kind of get you started and warmed up. And believe me, you can really create some awesome images just with learning the basics. But you just bear in mind that you have to start with the basics and the fundamentals before you start learning a lot of complex tools. All right, that's it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next one. I've got some exciting news. If you want to get into digital painting, I'll be launching my first course on digital painting for beginners. It's a comprehensive course that will help you get some incredible results using free digital painting software called Krita. I'll teach you the fundamentals of digital painting tools starting from the basics and help you work your way up to more advanced paintings. It would be an honor to have you join and it will help support this channel so I can continue to inspire you and help you improve your artistic abilities. Click on the link in the description to learn more about the contents of the course. So together, let's make some art.